Hi, Sean, what is going on, guys? And today we're back with another vlog. So I'm just gonna be vlogging today, maybe the next few days, who knows? But I'm here with my boy Eric. Yo. He's back in the videos, on, and we got Amanda as well. I missed. So hold on, hold on, I missed. Oh shoot! Oh. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're gonna be yeah, going to a couple stories today, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Yeah, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button because we post every other day. So yeah, what? I would like to tell them something. What? Hold on. So it's like super cold outside today, guys, and we were taking pictures a little bit earlier, and it just started snowing. Yeah. Photos on Instagram at Paul Souls and Eric dot Perez ten and <laughs> wait that's not your Instagram no, it is it is it is, it is? Yeah, it is. oh it is, it is it is y'all fave Manda with two A's yeah go like our Instagram photos that we sacrifice ourselves in the cold for yep. bro you're not Michael Jordan yeah. are these like oh shoot sure. all right y'all first stop of the day is Lego store. Okay, let's go. I don't know if any new Star Wars sets come out, did they? I can't remember to be honest. Okay, so we're looking for the new flowers. It's those ones, the cherry blossom one. Bruh. It's the cherry blossoms, but I haven't seen them anywhere. They got the new bouquet of roses. They got the new bouquet of roses. I don't know. I don't see them. I want this. I'm gonna get this one day, but I just literally don't have space for this. But they don't have the flowers, the new cherry blossoms, which kind of sucks. Alright, so we're going into Burlington. Let's see what they got. Wow, this has to be the middest Burlington I've ever been to in my life. Three floors, so much space. Look at this. <laughs> How the one on 14th Street got more inventory and a smaller. <laughs> okay, but like, why are the boots hanging? Like, no, but like, genuinely, why are the boots hanging? And they're spread out. And they're spread out. Alright, y'all, next stop of the day is DigiSo. Let's go. I wish they had the new Pop Mart series, but I don't see it. Nah. Which one? Oh, you want a Smiski, Eric? You should get one, bro. You should get one. I want Hello Kitty band-aids. Why not? Adult content. You want them? But we could share them. They got cool. Look, it's got a bunch of cool options. I'm gonna get Hello Kitty band-aids. They have these Hello Kitty rings, so I know I'm not even like that big of a Hello Kitty fan, but these are cool. Okay, so we got a Hello Kitty mystery ring from Digiso. So shout out to Digiso, but let's see who we got. I've been wanting this to get this for a while, not gonna lie. Oh we got the what's his name? I don't know his name, the penguin one. But the blue is cool. You see it? I'm gonna put it on. Thick, bro. What the hell? Let's go get another one. Look at that. <laughs> that's cool. I don't know what finger to oh, put that's it on. Nice. Though, but yeah. Okay. Marshall's and TJ Maxx time. Let's go. All right. Let's see. Eric had on my Sacconis today, and I said I got them from this Marshall's. So now we're at Marshall's. Let's see if they have anything good. Yo, right? Like, these just got to tell. Green awesome. Pepper, Weird. I wish they weren't green. I wish they were black. That would be tough. Oh. I can't walk, but. Oh, nah. Yo. Y'all rocking with these? Yo, if they were all right, if they were black, I would actually get them. Low key, five bucks. <laughs> He's killing me. The green is like a pop of color though. Like, yeah, let me get the whole fit real quick. Oh, I gotta go like this. <laughs> we're in we're in TJ Maxx now, and they have the yellow ones, but no black. They have magenta. We're low key getting every color but black. Okay, we're in TJ Maxx, and I found this like spider like quarter zip. Eric found it in green. Let me see it. The green one's tough, and then I just saw this tan one with like black, which I kind of mess with, so. I found this Nike quilted um, like vest thing, and it's normally $105. It's for 32. Not bad. All right, y'all, we're going into Five Below. Got the fig pin of Sasuke as Hello Kitty, and then Naruto Rasengan, that's new. Goodwill question mark? Let's go. Yo, we found a grail. What happened? Not gonna lie, this Goodwill's always kind of dry, but still cool to just come in and see if they ever have anything. Oh, what are those? Oh, yeah, didn't they have vinyls last time too? Mm -hmm. Right down there, not many. This is a new store, never seen it. It's kind of cool in here. They got a lot of like vintage and just like, you know, like regular like thrift stuff, but looks cool. All right, y'all, GameStop time. We found a Blue Lock shirt. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Team Z. All right, y'all, we're going into Strand. Let's go looking at the $4 section. Here's all the manga that they have for four bucks. So I'm gonna go through, see what finds I can find, and I'll pull it out. Oh, they got Haikyuu Volume 1, low key. Okay, here's everything I found for $4. Soul Eater Volume 23, Haikyuu 31, Haikyuu number two, Haikyuu number one, and Black Butler 30 something. I can't even, I think 32. <laughs> okay, vlog, we are back at the crib. Eric actually just left. He was here for like two days, but I didn't vlog like 
at all until today. But I got a little pickups haul for y'all, nothing too crazy. But we went to a bunch of random stores, got a bunch of random things. So first two things at Digi So, we got some Hello Kitty band-aids because I always get like funky band-aids. Last time I got Pokemon band-aids from um, Digi So, but they didn't have any. They only had Hello gotcha. Kitty, so I didn't mind it. And then I got this mystery Hello Kitty ring you guys saw me open. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was cool. I like unique jewelry, so that was tough. And then from Strand, we got really random volumes of manga, but also series that I just want to collect slowly over time. Like Soul Eater, I only have volumes one, two, and three because I was just gonna keep it at that. But I got volume twenty-three, which is I'm not sure. I don't think it's the last volume, or maybe it's the second to last. It's one of the last volumes, though. I don't know exactly how many. There might be twenty-five, but Soul Eater, four dollars. Then Black Butler, another series that I'm slow. I haven't read though. I'm not gonna lie. I've been slacking with Black Butler. Um, I have like the first ten volumes. This is like volume thirty-two. So yeah, we have one through ten, and now thirty-two. And then a series I really want to get one day, but there's just so many volumes, and the only way I'll collect it is literally like this. If I see it for a few bucks, like literally, if I see it at a thrift shop, if I see it at Strand, if I see it there, we did get High Q. I ended up getting volume one for four dollars, volume two for four dollars, and volume thirty-one for four dollars. So very excited about this. And the movie, the final movie, is coming out, uh, I believe, in February. So I'm definitely gonna go see that if it's in theaters. And then we got this spider, um, like zip up. This is like a hundred thirty dollar like quarter zip. Didn't know that until just now. But I just thought it was cool. I know spiders not like that in anymore, but I think it's tough. Like this like waffly um, texture and the tan with the black, like the two-tone. I really like it and I'll honestly see myself wearing this a lot. So it's tough and it's very thick and good for winter. So yeah, that was my little pickups haul. Amanda got a bunch of stuff if you want to see that. Them? You want to show them? Um, if they want to see. Do you guys want to see what Amanda got? They haven't answered. I think they said, yeah. Bitches. Uh, you're really gonna show the food? <laughs> I got two eyelash curlers. One for me, one for my friend. I got uh, another face wash, even, even though I just bought one. I run out so fast because Paul uses it, I use it. I finally found this mist again, because I had it maybe like two, three years ago and it was so good and then I never found it again. Found it again. And then I got a concealer. And that's pretty much it. I thought I got more stuff, but I didn't. Oh, that was a quick little haul. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cutting to whatever's next. All right, y'all, today we are outside again. I'm pretty sure you guys saw the vlog yesterday. Eric went home, whatever, cool. But now we're gonna be stopping by Kino Kanua because I think finally they might have restocked in there. I don't know, I got, I got a little birdie information, but I don't know if I really trust them, so we'll see. Come on, Kino, restock. If y'all saw the last vlog, I've been coming here like so many times since I'm on break right now, but ah, come on, please have new stuff. All right, y'all, so the new release section is probably gonna be the same just because we were just here a few days ago and like the January releases were pretty much just those two, a few other things, but let's go check out, see if they have any more figures. Okay, so it's looking like it's the same amount of figures, so this might have been a bust, but I think this is another Snafu figure, right? Yeah, this is tough. How much they want for this? Yep, 230. That's what I expected. So they have pretty much all of Nana again, but no volume six, which is the only volume I still need. But I really want to start Homunculus. I just don't want to drop $28 on a volume. But like I heard it's kind of crazy, so I kind of want to read it. I've never seen Hunter Hunter Mysteries. These are actually really cool. Hold up. How oh my god, 18 bucks, bro. Like uh 8.99 for the pin. Like, I want the acrylic stand. I don't want no pin or keychain. Damn, does this have an acrylic stand? I think this one might. Yeah, and it's got, like, moments on it of the character. That's kind of cool. But, like, ugh, damn. They have the top 99 ones, which is really cool. Um, and they also have, oh, my God, I loved this. This was one of the new animes for, I think, fall into, like, winter's time. It was Ron, I don't know, deranged detective, basically. Really liked this show. So they added the new blue lock stuff. If you guys saw last vlog when I was here, they were just like putting stuff down when I was standing here, but nothing like too crazy. I pretty much saw all this stuff. So nothing's really new for the most part. This Oshinoko stuff is new though, which is really cool. I like the acrylic stands of Aqua, but they're like $27. These are new, these keychains. Those are supposed to be blue lock characters. That's hilarious. And those new pins as well. Damn, it's kind of tough. This is the acrylic stands I got last time, but they got these, these are new. I didn't see these. But I just wish they were acrylic stands. I don't need keychain. If y'all remember this, I got two isagis. Should I go for a third? Not for a third isagi. Should I just try? Third time's a charm. I really want Nagi and Rayo. 
I think I'm gonna do it. It's the last time I'm gonna do it, bro. <laughs> this is the last time, I promise. I need Nagi Areo or just not Isagi. Honestly, at this point, I'm not even gonna be picky. Anybody but Isagi. I just mess with their fits in this, bro. <sighs> I'm filming a TikTok, so I kind of need to record the unboxing now so I could do um, book off in a separate TikTok. But without further ado, we have two mysteries. We have um, the blue lock one, which hopefully I don't get another Isagi. And we got Ron Kamadoshi, Deranged Detective, whatever. The series that I really liked from the past anime um, season. So let's open this up. Really want Ron, Detective Ishiki, or Spitz. One of those three. So let's open these up. I'm going to open this one up first since I can't get a dupe. But I really just don't want the, the girl. Three, two, one. Okay, cool. We got Detective Ishiki. I'm not going to lie. I'm not mad about it. Two, one, Rin. <laughs> we got Rin. I'm, I'm not going to complain, but of course he's wearing like the same color as Isuki. Whatever. I'm not going to complain because these are expensive. And it comes with a base and everything, but I'm not going to build it right now. All right, y'all. Let's go to book off now. I put Ron on my bag. So my boy Ron's chilling with me, hopefully. I mean, not Ron. My boy Isuki is... Detective Isuki is chilling with me. Book off time. Let's go. These are tough. I want the Datara. He looks kind of cool. I already have a Datara figure though, but like that's cool. And the Garu one's tough. Okay, now it's time to look through all the bags. But they got a Lloyd Nendo for $50. It's crazy. Out of box. Y'all. 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 I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. Hold up. I gotta look through the Funkos. What if somebody sold like the whole set? Yo. I don't even care though. I, I don't care if this is fake, real, whatever. Bro, it's L. Oh my god, I have literally all of them besides this L. Five dollars, bro. Three dollar manga section is looking the same, but bro, I don't even care. Like, I, I don't even want to look for anything else at this point. All right, I want to look to see how much high Q is here, because like I said, I'm only going to collect high Q if I can find it for like good prices, because I'm not, that's like 40 volumes of a series, but let's see if they have any right here and right here now let's see the price 8.99 now i feel spoiled because i'm never gonna buy volume unless it's four dollars <laughs> now i'm playing but i might have to pick up some but i don't know we'll see we might have to just go to strand like once a week and just check out their little four dollar section i do want to get the snafu manga as well that would be cool to get one day they have two volumes of air gear for seven dollars this is a series i wanted to collect one day but it's just getting like expensive but they have volumes three and nine like do i want to put myself down this rabbit hole i found an aki nendo for 30 bucks i think i'm gonna pick him up he is my favorite character so they also had um one of the high q ones they got Ryonosuke, but i already got like three high q ones coming in the mail i think actually four um because i got them for like 100 bucks but they have Sukuna for 50 and then they have Kurama, who's my favorite Yu Yu Hakusho character, but he's $70. I was like, bruh. And then they have Naruto as well for only 30 bucks, which I was gonna get, but then I found Aki, and I was like, I have so much Naruto stuff, so I'm gonna get Aki. Okay, so we just left Book Off, and next to Book Off, there's a pizza shop. I wanted a slice of pizza, so I got a slice of pizza because I got the L and the Nendroid, and it only came out to $33. So she didn't charge me for L. So I basically got L for free. Um. So I bought a pizza with that money. All right, y'all, we are back at the crib. And I just wanted to show y'all in case y'all didn't believe me. $32.66 was the total for Book Off. And as you guys saw, I got the um, little Detective Ishiki um, badge. It's on my bag, so I didn't bring it in here. But the other thing we did get, you guys saw me open it, is the Blue Lock one. So we're going to put that on the shelf. And then my two favorite pickups of today, which were so unexpected. Because honestly, I wasn't really going to go to Book Off. Because I feel like I've been literally to Book Off and Kino so much in the past two, three weeks. You guys have probably seen it in the vlogs. Um, literally every vlog for y'all. But it's not every day for me. It's every vlog for y'all. But y'all get the point. But two crazy steals especially the l um now i know you're probably gonna say like oh is it even real like people that know about funkos and stuff like that um is it real da 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 honestly i don't know like i nothing looks too crazy to me but at the same time like it, i don't know it says funko llc www.com funko like i don't know it says like it's regular branding but it could be fake I don't know, but I don't care. It was five. Well, it was free technically, but it's five dollars. Like I'm not gonna complain. I'll put it with my Death Note section. I don't care for the box for this one. I don't care. I have the I have the real L again. I'm not saying this is fake. I'm not saying this is real. But I have the one L with cake, the one that's like three hundred dollars in box in a protector over there. And then I have like the out of box Ryuk. I have an out of box light as well. So I'm just gonna put this with that little section over there. And now I technically have the complete set of the Death Note Funko Pops from the original line, which is 
fire to say um because i did get those two for steals off of ebay as well a little bit not for five dollars like 40 50 whatever they were um the obviously the l with cake is like almost like 300 dollars now it's like two something um and then now we have the other l there was only four total so i have all four now and i'm so excited again if it's fake oh well boohoo i don't care it's gonna go on my shelf it's cool looking and it's l you never like i'll never see that again i've had book off then really random was the aki one because i've been in like a really like nendo mood i don't know why i really just want to get a bunch of like nend nendoroids i don't know why like i just i just i just love them like they're just like so cool to me so um i ordered some the other day as i was telling you all you guys will probably see that in an unboxing video but i ordered i want to say four total and i believe they're all from haikyuu because they were having like some crazy sale and it was literally like a hundred dollars for four which is like $25 in Android, which is not bad at all. Honestly, I think it was less than 100. It might have been like 80 something then after like shipping and stuff like that. But it was basically like too good of a deal for me to be like, oh, like <laughs> what? Like I'm in the mood to buy these things right now. Might as well do it while they're having like a crazy deal. So we did get Aki, which was only $30. And like, you know, honestly, I feel like they should be $30. I don't feel like they should be more than $30. But you guys see the prices on these things when I show you all them. Literally. 50 60 70 100 like the ones in book off are normally like a hundred something dollars because they're all older ones so i never really look at book off ones but i was like you know what i've been in the mood let me look through the boxes and i found a few of them for 30 dollars. i found a haiku one for 30 i found this one for 30 i found naruto for 30 but i was like you know what let me get my boy aki and he's literally brand new like they didn't even take the wrapping off of him yet so we did get my boy aki he could go with my little chainsaw man section and now to the nendoid collection so really tough um i don't know which one i'm gonna put on maybe i'll just leave him like this i kind of like him kind of like him like this so yeah that's a crazy little fun i'm not gonna lie very excited about that one and that's pretty much it for today i'm um, gonna put all this stuff away catch y'all on the next one and subscribe if you're new to the channel we out <laughs> Back. Baby, you will survive. Hop inside a ride. I know you wanna slide. Know you wanna slide with me. Cause I'm vibing, baby girl, I'm vibing. Don't show up to the party with no violence. Don't show up to the party with no violence. I take you out, I break you out, I got you smiling.